Crossing guard confusion. Hillsborough County leaders saying for weeks they're working to make your children safer. But new tonight, the reason some elementary and middle schools will be on their own. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. All new at 6, ABC Action News reporter Nicole Gregg explains why we found parents, teachers, and even children guarding crosswalks at multiple Bay Area elementary schools instead of Hillsborough County deputies. We do not have a crossing guard. We don't either. Moms, Ballast Point Elementary from three different elementary schools. And it's just confusing to us why we don't have a crossing guard. All asking for help. But we don't want to wait until somebody gets seriously injured. For the past week, we've been going to different elementary schools. At Roosevelt Elementary, we found a student safety patrol at a crosswalk with just an orange flag. She never steps into the crosswalk. We have crosswalks, but we don't have crossing guards. At Grady, we found someone who works at the school with a stop sign. And the same at Ballast Point, but they do not have proper training. And it's just confusing to us why we don't have a crossing guard. We asked the sheriff's office why every middle school will have crossing guards when not every elementary school does. But then we were told this for the first time. Why all middle schools will have crossing they guards, won't. but... Oh. They won't. It'll be the same formula. It's, it's, it's really, it's just literally, you know, you only have so much in the pot, right? So they only gave you so much money. So you have to figure out where you're going to deploy. The sheriff's office says it uses a formula to determine where they put crossing guards. 360 cars and at least 10 kids without adults through an intersection. So to clarify, not every elementary, not every middle school will That's have correct. crossing guards. That's correct. Why is one child being weighed as more important than the other? They should all have crossing guards. We found there are 45 elementary schools without crossing guards. We want to be able to walk our kids to school. In Hillsborough County, Nicole Gregg, ABC Action News. Now we do know the sheriff's office has been actively recruiting crossing guards for the elementary schools, even at job fairs. They have not started the hiring process for middle schools just yet, but you can count on us to keep you up to date on abcactionnews.com and also on our free mobile app. And if you have a story idea or a tip about a traffic issue we can tackle, you can call our Driving Tampa Bay Forward tip line at 866-428-6397 or email us at driving at wfts.com.